I gotta get my part gig click. Like, come out, blunt, blunt, right to the point. I don't like that, no. And a bonus question. The woman should do the same? Women should stay and work things out. You look grass. <laughs> we are on road, we are on road. Guyanese man, them are run road. Jamaican man, them are run road. Caribbean bad man, them are run what is up Kabisa family? Welcome to a brand new episode of Kabisa Street Confessions on Guyana Uncut. Remember that Street Confessions has found a new partner at Price King Distributors under the umbrella of the JS Group of Company. If you would like to buy Kabisa in and around Georgetown, you can visit the JS outlet next to the commercial registry in downtown Georgetown. Or you can dial the number 613-6300. If you're in Burbies, you can dial the number 333. 3155 the stock could be at the cheapest price on the market to date we have some fun interviews we have a switch we have a surprise for you guys actually for the first time ever i am going to be interviewed on the show look forward to it peace sample it tell me what you think about it if it is good if it's not good you can let me know as well very smooth i could work with this say something you would definitely Support if you see Kabisa anywhere, you would definitely advise people to buy and support Kabisa. Absolutely, I love Kabisa. Great, 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 great. Would you prefer someone with a lot of sexual experience or no sexual experience at all? No sexual experience. Why would you say no sexual experience? Most most women like to be dominated in bed. Like they like the guys to take the lead. Um, I'm guessing it's different with you. Why? It's different because I have a lot of experience based upon you know, age and stuff like that. So I think, I know that I make a perfect teacher. So you would definitely be able to show the person the ropes and get them in line with everything. Exactly, exactly. And um, what I noticed today, a lot of women are very verbal, like within, you know, the bedroom stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, I'm a teacher. Not all of them, some of them expect you to read their minds, you know. A lot of them that I know of, personally I know of, you know, they would like, you know, lead a man through like, you know, how to get it done and stuff. Direct like the fuck, eh? <laughs> Increase the... <laughs> oh, pineapples? Pineapple, you, you, you don't curse, you don't curse, you don't curse. <laughs> Sometimes, I'm a big decent girl. <laughs> Most girls would direct the sex, I gotta be decent on this camera right now, right? Because I said the F word on a shock shit. Right? I, I would usually use a lot of F words and S words, but I'm going to refrain from using it now. Okay, you can do you, man. I don't like pretending. Right? I like real people. All right. All right, then I'll be real. So, you would direct the sex, right? Tell the person what to do. You don't get no problem with them. No problem. It wouldn't seem annoying that, hey, I got to tell this man what to do or not. No, because, listen. After having like, you know, experience and stuff like that, when I was much younger, I used to like be shy and, you know, shame about, you know, certain things. Yeah. But now, I prefer to tell like my partner that, hey, I need to get this done, I need this this way. Likewise, I would like him to do the same. Would you come out playing and ask a man for lick your part of the cake? Like, yo, I gotta get my part of the cake lick. Like, come out blunt, blunt, right to the point. I don't like that, no. Serious? You don't like that? She ain't not the right person yet. She ain't not the right person no, I yet. Many reasons, but I won't say it on camera because I don't like it. Understood. I can I can accept that as a valid answer. However, I would advise that you please don't give up on lick part the cake. It's a beautiful thing, right? It it, it lick part the cake actually making turn right now. You understand? Mouth water. Whoever said mouth water don't breathe nobody. Mouth water making turn right now. You understand? So. But listen, it's not like I never get it before. Many times. Many, many times, but I don't like it. Like, it's not your cup of tea, basically. Not my cup of tea. I want you to give me an example of a really fucked up relationship, like a really messed up relationship that you know of that makes you scared to even get into relationships. Give me an example, like a scenario. Now, these days, a lot of men just persuade women into this kind of fantasy and this kind of fairy tale world. And the other day, I got that, so. That was messed up. So they were selling you a lot of dreams. A lot of dreams, not in terms of like money and stuff like Leading those. you on basically. Leading me on, being pretensive, you know, not being real. Yeah, it was messed up, but I got out of it. So you would much rather a guy comes to you real with his intentions, like just lay them on the table versus having to, you know, give you an idea of perfection and then it doesn't turn out to be the way he says it's going to be. I prefer honesty. 
At this age, third one, I'm gonna be next month. I prefer honesty. Huh? I prefer honesty. Okay, okay. So if a guy comes out, you're, you're in a guy dating, and he comes out directly and he says, hey, I think I love you, I have a lot of love for you, right, and I'm gonna keep loving you. However, from time to time, I would need to go and be with another woman sexually, but I will return to you, and I will always stay with you. Would you respect and stay with a guy with that opinion? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. It depends on who's the person and how close we are. Men and women are different. Women try to compare it as if we're the same, but we're not. I prefer honesty due to the fact that when I get the honest truth, I could know exactly like, you know, how I want to live or how I want to be with this person. Yeah. Okay. Well, honesty is the best policy. Anybody out there right now, right, that is entangling in the relationship, please come out and confess, right? For all the women out there who are cheating on a man and going behind a man back, Right? Your bank, your bank account going empty. Somebody off camera saying you're doing a good job, but I not call name, right? But the person, the person interviewed me early up in this video, right? I not call name, right? For all the women that cheating out there, I hope y'all get catch red-handed, right? And for all the men out there that cheating, I hope God keep your hands of protection over you, shield you, protect you, right? And I hope that no harm come to you, cause you're a king, right? All the women out there that cheating, you have to stop with your nonsense, you know. Right? Stop with your nonsense. If the world was to end right now, God forbid, don't want the world to end right now, life too sweet. But if, metaphorically speaking, the world was to end right now, you could have sex with one person. Who would that person be and why would you choose that person? I had this guy that I was seeing in 2021 and he passed away last year in February. And we had a really, really good relationship. It was actually my best friend, you know, and we shared a close relationship. We had a lot of good moments and stuff like that. And we never had, well, I never trusted him to have sex with him. So when he passed and stuff like that, is that like, this like when all the memories and all like, you know, everything. Ev everything just came. So I wish if I, would have had sex with him and I wish you know like things would have been different between me because he was sweet to like me relationship -wise. yeah he was really sweet to me but I just didn't trust him because he was younger than me and you know the stallion is the girl but he was sweet he was a lover boy and he was just amazing man we already mentioned that he's passed away so that opportunity won't come but I really hope that you find someone with similar traits that you would trust yourself with in that way. Anybody you want shout out? Anybody you want send a big up to before we sign out? Big up, sexy me, sexy you. That's my boutique. Me, and my sister, we share that boutique. We own that boutique. Lot three Norton Street, between Kiam and George Street. Slash VIP outlet. That's my brother boutique. Okay. He sells all the original, latest designers. Gucci, Louis, all of the um, the um designers you could find. So check us out. Week after week, I tell you all, right? I tell you all, I'm going to remove this cameraman from the show, right? So right now we have a new cameraman. New cameraman, please put a thumbs up in front of the camera, please. This is your first test of loyalty. Good, you can keep this work long. Pan the camera on the old cameraman. So you turn the camera to your side. Homeless now. You homeless, you need to sit on the pavement and drink alcohol right now because he's not getting back this work. New cameraman, fun base, right? And because he's there homeless and he sit on the walls, he enjoying himself now. A young lady, see, and she admire him. So, you don't know, she got, she, she, she got a vibe going on about it. Come tell the fans, come tell the fans what you think about this man. Young man with the beard? Mm. Come, friend, come. <laughs> Watch. Ex cameraman. Terminated now. Ex communicado. I think you're a real cute friend for that. Uh, with the beard and everything. Alright. I just like see how your beard is getting nasty, but the truth. All of a sudden, it's getting real dirty from me at least. Oh, you mean? Nervous, he nervous. Glasses. Read that pun.
Polish it, polish it face, polish it face. Right? Three questions, right? You get them? Think about them. You ready for that hard? That's a no for that. Alright, for the second time, right? Wanna back your friend off camera wants to give me an interview as well. So I'm gonna subject myself to another interview. Let me go. This mic belongs to you now. Alright, Mr. Marta. Tell the camera, tell the people. What's the first girl that you ever suck chip the cake? The first girl I ever licked chip the cake. I remember it just like it was yesterday. I can still taste it at the end of my tongue just like it was yesterday. It tastes like, you know, the end of a, a very high voltage battery. It was very <laughs> electric. It was very intense. And that was actually the first girl I had sex with. The very first time I had sex, I licked pot the cake. And I've yeah, never changed my mind since then. It's been an amazing experience. I advise everyone out there to lick pot the cake. It's very good. It's very nutritious once it's clean and nice and proper, right? That one was nice and proper and clean. So I lick it and I lick like there was no, no, no tomorrow. Till it's cool, just cool, into the mouth. And I enjoy every moment of it. It's a good mom order. That's a good man. Next That's question. Good if your child mother is a 10, you got child mother, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your child mother is a 10. Children mother. Children. Children, sorry, madam. Children mother is a 10. Would you cheat on her with a 2? If she's a 10, if I would cheat on her with a 2? Okay. For men, it's not more so about quality, but more so quantity. So the number really doesn't matter, you know. She, she, she watch a man in a kind of a way. But the reality of the situation is, a man is more willing to lower, um, to fuck down basically, right? Because our bar for sex is lower than women. That's why men just be more thirsty for sex and women just be less thirsty because it's always in your face, right? It's always in your face. A pretty girl like you, right, who I would consider to be a perfect 10, you can fuck any guy of your choice, right? But me, I can't fuck any girl of my choice. Right, so the value, the bar is much more higher for you. And because it's more so high and you know that you could, you would be less inclined to. Because it's lower for me, anything that comes me right more inclined to take. Good. I understand for shizzle. I got you, I got you. Makes sense. You know you's a 10? You's a 10? If I was a 10, I say 11. All right, you say 11. Now you girls see a man was a 15. Yeah. And she decide for you know one more. I can see 11. I can take a 15. And you call a woman, see she with the 15, how you would feel about her? Men need to learn the art of letting go, right? It's as simple as letting go, right? There comes a time when you must value yourself above everything else, right? And the minute a female goes ahead and cheats on you, there's a lot of things wrong in the relationship. She don't respect you, she don't value you as she did before. And I think that's the time to let go. Men, never forgive a woman if she cheats on you. It never goes right after though. But the time a woman cheating, it goes down here. Leave her, walk away with your respect and your dignity. Don't fight, don't argue. Walk away respectfully. And a bonus question. The woman should do the same? Women should stay and work things out. Use a cross. <laughs> <laughs> Do fans would already know, if you'd like it spicy yet refreshing, try the ginger cabisa. If you need a boost of energy for your day-to-day -day activities, try the 100% energy. If you need to be the life of the party, try the 18% vodka cabisa. And if you need a boost to your metabolic activities, as well as to strengthen your immune system, try the vitamin cabisa today. So, good to go. Where's the name, baby girl? Becky. Becky with a good hair. Would you mind sampling the 18% vodka cabisa? Tell me what you think about it. Give me an honest review on this drink right here. Please and thank you. Honest review. Honest review, I don't like vodka. I can taste the vodka, but I like energy drink, so yeah. It's a good mixture. So for energy and drink, I we get pint. So I can make, so it's a good mixture. Just not why I would drink. First question is, would you prefer someone with a lot of sexual experience or someone with no sexual experience at all? Definitely sexual experience. Why in your mind somebody needs to be sexual, sexually experienced? Why do you prefer someone with a lot of sexual experience? Because I don't run a night care. You don't? Run a night care. You're unable to teach somebody. I'm not 
not taking care of anyone. I'm not teaching anyone. Like, you're pursuing me. You got to know what you're doing if you're pursuing me. Right? True, but there is a certain level of excitement involved in teaching and showing someone a new experience, right? Like, for example, somebody who knows what they're doing is going to read body language. Well, that's true, that's true. I can't argue with you, right? You get points on no one, you one up me. Give me a scenario, right? Or an example of someone else's relationship that you look at and you, and that relationship is so bad, it makes you doubt all relationships. It makes you even afraid to be in a relationship for yourself. Give me an example. Um, basically, this generation, they're all about picture perfect on social media and in shit in real life or behind closed doors. Like, I know couples who like social media platform, like the picture, the perfect picture. It's Barbie, it's one and only, my queen, blah, blah, blah. blah. And Niggas were coming in my face next day. I see the post. <laughs> so in like, real life, wait, this this wasn't you all booed up this weekend, and that was going on now. Like I got more respect for your relationship than you got for yours. This one song deep. This one song personal, right? <laughs> this one song personal, right? I, I wanna really. I wanna really. We can no, call him. No, call him. No, 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 no. Should we call him? Should we call him? Let me call him, man. Let me call him. If you could have sex with one person, if this world really was to end right now, you could have sex with one person one more time, who would it be and why? Myself. With yourself? Myself. You're cloning yourself and sexing yourself. Either way, like, I know me best. I do it best. Like, like you stop there when it comes to top sex. Tier. Right? No at all. Like, why not have the best world ending? Come on. This is the perfect example of fucking yourself. Yeah. Right? The perfect example right here. Living example, right? Self love to the highest capacity. Self love. I'm going to be the one getting the interview by the one, the only Becky. Becky is the first person to interview me on this show. So we're making history right now. Becky, tread lightly. Go ahead. If you're with a woman for years, you meet somebody spontaneously. Is it possible, possible for you to love that person to a point of leaving that person that you've already planned the future with? My answer to that question would be yes. It's very much possible. Um, years of a relationship does not translate to years of happiness or prosperity and goodness, you know? So that person could have been the one to save you from years of stress and pain and agony and, you know, and, you know, not good stuff. So yes, I think it's possible. Right? She can't catch me, she can't catch me tonight, that's too fast. Not too fast, she can't catch me tonight, she can't catch me. You putting on a tattoo of a girl name, or girl putting on a tattoo of your name. Uh -huh. Does that give obligation in staying loyal and being committed to her, or you would move on? And if you would, oh. As someone who does tattoos personally, I would advise no one in a relationship to get each other's name tattoo on them because it's a curse. It's literally a curse, right? I have my, I have one of my child mother them name right there, and I don't have to say how that went. She know it went, right? She know it went right there. Call out this name. You can call it down. Kanisha. Yes, right. And I don't have to tell you guys how that ended, right? So just know that having someone's name tattoo on you is a curse. It's not good, and you shouldn't do it. If you want to get a matching tattoo of something, that's fine, but not names. I second that, I second that. So tell me, if you were this girl for over 10 years, and I've said 10 years, y'all living together, y'all doing everything together, partying, getting drunk, all kind of shit together, but she refused to give you a threesome, and then you walk in one day with she and a woman. She's a cross! <laughs> she's a concubine, she's a concubine, she's a concubine. I think the way I see it, if I'm with somebody, they get certain things that would stand for, certain things that would not stand for. I mean... So you want to stand for? No, if... 
The fact that it's another woman does not make it any more okay for me. So I would still, I would still put my foot down as if it was a man, and I would leave actually, right? And by the way, if you love somebody, you shouldn't want to introduce another person in the relationship for a threesome. That's that's weird and awkward. So it's not because she gave you the threesome and pull you in. It's because she introduced somebody else into the relationship. Potentially, potentially. However, I'm going to tell you about the time I did a threesome. I was in a relationship with a girl and she asked me, she was pressuring me for a threesome, right? So she brought her cousin to do the threesome. And when she brought the cousin in the room, it was a proper girl, right? I met her a few times. And so I started with the cousin, I started romancing her, kissing her. And then we started to have sex. Whilst we having sex, all the is in the car now. She's sniffing, crying away. I literally forgot that she was in the room. I just no continued asking the cousin. I even sent she out of the room because she didn't make any right. sense. You're right, right. All right, all right. No, I get to my pipe on no, this person right no, there, right? No. <laughs> so, you see why you don't do threesome? Don't do threesome, guys. Don't do, it's not going to Don't either. do threesome. Don't do threesome kids. unless unless it's with two concubines. Don't do it with your wife. Right? Don't do Only with concubines. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Only we're talking about. I don't open my tree. You come to me too. You girl. Uh -huh. You parcel. And now the woman having sex. Will you I fuck it, everybody. <laughs> Say if they want to fuck you. <laughs> then I move out. <laughs> Some kids, no trees. Some say no to trees. Some say no to tattoos. Name tattoos. Say no to tattoos. Not tattoos. Name tattoos. Name tattoos. We are on road. We are on road. Guyanese man, them are run road. Jamaican man, them are run road. Caribbean bad man, them are run road. We are on road. We are on.